Hi, today we're going to make a delicious pumpkin dump cake in the Dutch oven. I have my 12 inch Dutch oven here. So let's get this going. With this, I'm going to use a, a liner. These are, uh, well, it's just parchment paper, but Lodge makes these ones. And then you can just put it down in there and it makes cleanup pretty good. I don't use them very often, but sometimes when I do desserts, I'll do this. But what we have here is just a can of the pumpkin pie mix. So it has the sugar and the cinnamon and everything in it. There, we'll just put this on the bottom, like so. Yeah, this is going to be great. It's one of those you put everything in, cook it, and it's done. So it's Thanksgiving today. We got the turkey in there cooking up. So it's about 60 degrees. It's crazy. It's 60 on. Thanksgiving Day, but I'm not complaining. I'm out here in a in a short sleeve shirt. But yeah, we'll just kind of smooth this on the bottom. It smells good. Spoon that on the bottom like that. And then I have three eggs, so we're gonna crack three eggs. Oh. Uh, this is the second go around of this. We is set up to shoot this about an hour ago and the sun was messing up where we was gonna shoot so I was moving this table and I dumped it all over the ground. So I had to go go get a few more things from the store but I got three eggs there and then you have a can of evaporated milk. Man that is bent weird. Maybe it'll work. There we go. I think that's bent down. I haven't used this function on this for a while. Looks like it's about ready to break. Let's put this in with the eggs. This will kind of give it a custard effect. So, made a little mess right there. Yeah, we're gonna be cooking good food all day. This is gonna be fun. So we'll just whip this up. I think you need a whisk. You think I need a whisk? There it goes. I brought a spoon. I don't know. Maybe I'm just doing cooking with different stuff today. I guess. Like that. This will cook. Uh, we're going to cook this at 350 for about 45 minutes. We'll probably check it in about 30 or 35 minutes. But then let me set that there. And then we're just going to pour this right on top of the pumpkin pie mix. Try to get that in there. Oh yeah. And then next, we we'll just have a yellow cake mix here. Get this open. See if I can do this without making a mess. There we go. I'll we'll just kind of Sprinkle this in here. Oh, this is going to be good. Put that there. Let me kind of even that out a little bit. And then the last thing is uh, I melted a, a cube, a stick and a half of butter. So we're just going to drizzle this over the top. Yummy. So there's that. So we got everything in. Okay, great. Let's put the lid on. And at 350 with the 12 inch Dutch oven, we want 10 on the bottom. Four, five, 10. Kind of rearrange those in a little circle. Like that. I'll grab this. Off. And we want 14 on top. Seven, seven. Let's kind of arrange them. Like I said, we'll uh, just let it do its thing for about 30, 35 minutes, and we'll check it at that point. So we'll see you back. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Let's see how this. 
pumpkin dump cakes doing? That oh, smells good. Check it out. Oh yeah. Look at that. Got a little fork. Still a little soft, so I thought about 45 minutes, so let's give it another 15. I actually, I said I was going to cook it at 350, but I got going and I got 14 briquettes and I decided to up it to 375. So I have, I've had 16 coals on there to start. I just have a few extra. See, they're just little nuggets. It doesn't hurt to add just a little more heat on the top at the end. See, that wasn't much at all. We'll just let it go like that for 15. Should okay, be good. I think we're ready. It smells so good. Every time I walk by here, I get a big old whiff of pumpkin. And it's been cooking 45 minutes, and we upped it to 375. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. See, that evaporated milk is kind of spongy. That's kind of the custard effect, but yeah, that is awesome. So let me scoop some out of here. It's kind of spongy. You said that. <laughs> I did say that. Let's get some pumpkin. Okay, it's bubbling down in there. See that pumpkin bubbling? There? There's little bubbles going on right there. Yeah, let's give this a try. Yeah. That cake mix is fluffed right up. Mm. It's hot and good. Yummy. Yellow cake mix and the pumpkin, it goes so good together. I can't believe that evaporated milk. It is kind of custardy down in there. That that first level down in there. Mm, yummy. There's your nice dessert for holiday or any time. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.